Hey guys, Diver Don here. Tonight I'm on the shores of Lake Superior looking for ultraviolet rocks. I'm looking for euperlites. Uh, some people call them emberlites. Basically they're cyanite class that have a mineral in it known as sodalite that reacts to ultraviolet light. I'm going to show you them as I find them. Take them home, show you under some better lighting conditions, and then show you what they look like uh, under daylight conditions. And you see I have my protective light uh, lenses on. You should always wear them when you're exposing yourself to uh, ultraviolet light for a period of time. And so yeah, let's go get some stones. Okay, here's the first Uper light I found. It's kind of nice. Let's see what this looks like. Some rocks in the way. That's a nice, nice first stone. It's a good sign. Oh, and the second one's really nice too. These are kind of different. They have a solid orange to them, but not as bright. And then it has like little bright spots. See that? I really like these. They're, um, I don't. I don't find very many like this. Yeah. And, um, this is not a rock, obviously. It, um, it must be something man-made, plastic. And get it out of here. I make a habit of taking everything out. Let's go take a look. Try to pack out all the trash that I find. Sheffield? Is that like a bobber or something? I don't know what that is. It says Sheffield. I hope you can read that. And as you can see, there's a lot of stones on this beach, but only a few actually have so let in. You see how many are on the beach here? And there's one. One of probably a thousand. Okay, oh, it's in the water line a little bit here. Okay, it's small, but it's really bright. That's a nice looking stone. That's kind of jewelry quality. Here's another nice little stone. Oh, that's definitely vibrant. Look at the look how bright that one is. That's nice. That's a keeper. Here's yet another one. Oh, this is nice. A little bit bigger. But very bright. Okay, I almost missed this. This is pretty bright. It's definitely not a rock. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of reflective tape. Again, anytime. Oh, that's, that's a balloon. Part of a, a balloon. Um, yeah, we'll get that out of here. Always take your trash out, or anybody else's trash that you find. Like this. There's all kinds of. Here's some of the plastic I found tonight. Um, little liquor bottles. And, here's a nice one. It's definitely, you know, there's not a lot on there. Yeah, I don't know. I might not keep this one. Yeah, I'm going I'm to put this one back. Yeah, it's cold out tonight, as you can see. You can see my breath. And of all these rocks, there's only one uh, that I saw with any kind of glow to it. There it is over by that stick. But it's a nice one, so I think we've got that. A nice looking ember light or euper light or whatever you want to call it. We'll take that. Beautiful. Good size, too. Uh, this one was hiding on me. I almost didn't see it. Sometimes you have to look back where you walked, because they'll be hiding, you won't see them at the angle you were first looking. This is definitely not a um, eupolite, if you will, or an emberlite. It's just a stone that, that does react to UV. So I'm going to bring it home. It's kind of neat, actually. I like these blue ones. I don't see too many of them. So I'm going to add that to the collection and put it on display. Here's another nice little bright one. Oh, there's another little one. Yeah. We'll leave that one. 
Let someone else get it. Ooh, this is a beautiful one, and it's in the water too. Oftentimes you'll find them in the water. Make sure when you look, when you're hunting, look in the water as well. If it's too wavy, all you'll see is the ultraviolet light reflecting back at you, but sometimes you find these uh, right in the wave, right in the wave zone. It's waves that are turning over these rocks. Um, I've hunted this area probably three times earlier this summer, and yet I still find new stones there because they're underneath other ones. They get moved around, or they get brought in from the surf line, from the, from the waves. Oh, there's a really bright one. Oh, that'll make a nice, nice necklace. Beautiful. Got a little face on it. It's kind of neat. There's some more in the water line, guys. Again, I find probably half my stones in the water. Obviously, I find some when I'm scuba diving, but the waves aren't, aren't very good for uh, this right now. They're, they're too high recently. So here's another nice one. Size too. Finding some really good ones tonight. I only found a couple that weren't keepers. This one's a lot of bright in one area and then kind of a dark back. Oh, there's one in the water. That's a keeper. Who wouldn't take that stone? Another one in the water. This one's got a little bit of blue to it, too. I really like that. You don't see many like this. I love the pattern, too. About time to wrap it up here. We must have a pocket full, probably 20 of these. I'll show a picture at the end of the video of all the stones that I have, both in the white light and in the dark light. I like these ones that have the little bands on them, too. They're pretty neat. I guess that's it, gang. Thanks for watching. Um, here's a picture of all the different stones that I found today. And here's a picture with the lights on. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon.